Generic greetings and welcome back to Endless Legend where in the previous episode we did the improbable. Not only did we manage to take out the Drac and admittedly they only had one city and one army which we managed to uh, squish very early on. But also whatever we had remaining which was a lot of Urk and Lice we sent over towards the Kapaku which was on this island here. And we bumped into a lot more Urk and Lice which we then managed to do our cat's paw thing which takes control of them. And then sent them to destroy all of the Kapaku so there's no more Kapaku in the game. And what was left of that is now headed over towards this uh, this tile here, which is um, over to where Green are, the Wild Walkers. Let's just see how we get on. I've also got my uh, hero here, and if we talk them, you can see it says, Tame Urken, we need a total of 15 Red Sang, which I know we don't have, and it'll probably be impossible to buy. So we've got a total of... Um Hang on, uh, no, no, 10 Red Sang, so I, actually I was thinking of um, Dust Orchid, so we might be able to buy that. So if we go down to Red Sang, we can say 5, and we can buy that, and that means we can take control of that Urkin. We now have a Tamed Urkin, a Tamed Urkin acts just like our, um, like like an army essentially, um, however we can also do two things. You can either have it as army mode, which is uh, just like any normal army, or you can have it in its sort of um, Urkin... Uh, land form which uh, gathers resources strategic and luxury resources from tiles so I'm going to uh, do that but I'm, I'm going to migrate the Urken and I'm going to migrate it over to there because not only does it gather all the resources in this tile uh, you can only migrate it to empty tiles by the way or uh, regions that don't have any um, enemies in there or friendlies in fact it just has to be an unclaimed one um, it also gives a good line of sight so that's good we can also look at the research tree and we've got things like dust leecher We've got um, Urken Conditioning and also Berserker Blood. So this is the ones we can get with uh, if you've got these two. This is the one here that you have to have both so you can see where it's uh, getting combined. So if you have these two, you can get that one. If you have these two, you can get that one. And if you have all three, you get the one in the middle, which is uh, um, Urken's gain the Tremors Army Action Producing Long Distance Siege Damage, which is brilliant. We can get, um, while Urken is army form, allied units in the same region have 15% attack. Well, that's brilliant because that's exactly what we've got. Urken is rooted in a region owned by allied cities. No, we don't have that and Urken and Lice under your control have plus 20 initiative yeah well that's just brilliant uh, so there we go we will um, quickly check um, this uh, Urken Lice we want to land uh, this Urken Lice want to get on land uh, this one want to land um, they're taking quite their time though come on can we go this way uh, we'll go that way, why not? This is a uh, really garbage unit that we don't care about and this one is uh, heading over here just to see if this uh, Kazar spawns any Urken Lice. We do have some Minotaurs there which I will promptly buy out because there's no reason not to and then <laughs> head them over that way. Any unit that we have uh, that we see that we think is going to be of some use we're going to used to take these over so there we are we will end the turn although it's going to say we've got cities that are doing nothing so we'll go around and just place those in where we need to we're not spending a lot of time now on these cities because they are really just um we're using them basically to to gather dust and uh, buy things out where we need to um although and there's a lot of upgrades that we just don't need on them so i mean coastal battery is quite good but we don't really need extra security on these cities particularly um, but we'll put some stuff in the queue there. Um, what else do we want? We've also got some management sciences. Again, extra industry, but we don't really need industry. Um, don't really need that. What's that? That is uh, the Borers Guild, which is increased industry once again. We've got um, Imperial Funding. Five science. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, we've also got uh, Dust Alchemy, which is really good as well so we'll go for that and a proposal of peace I don't think that's gonna happen we've only got uh, one more turn until we have uh, this uh, finished uh, and that well so not finished but we've got the end research screen there so we'll end the turn and I think the writing's on the wall there. We're now at the end of ages. So dust tier 3 equipment available for heroes and uni train units now pop up at level 6. As well as heroes there. And there's our construction queue complete. We'll go for dust depository. Again, it's our main city so it gets priority. Actually, no, that's not my main city. Uh, this is the main city. But we'll put it in there nonetheless. And um, we also want to get... Uh, I mean, what can we build? We can just keep on building the uh, Royal Academy stuff if we really wanted to. Um, how oh, can we activate some more stuff? There's extra science on cities, that's brilliant. There's extra food on cities, that's even brillianter. Uh, that's a word now. And we're going to go for uh, assimilating the boss, which gives us some stuff as well. We'll go for spending that stockpile of industry over on our uh, main city because we are going for this uh, reliquary of Origa. And after that, well, there's all sorts of things we can go for. We could build more Vores and such, although, to be fair, that's what I want to do. 
Uh, what I want to do now, because that place is not being taken over, so we'll build another vault, although we can't because we don't have the glass steel. So we will resolve that problem by buying that out, and we'll obviously buy out the vault as well. In terms of units, a lot of these have not got an order, so we're going to move these down and in. Um, you'll notice that these Urkin lice are already moved. I'm not going to want to start sieging. I don't know. I think I'll wait another turn for the Urkin lice to uh, get into there. Uh, these lice are just scouting around. There's only one, actually. And the problem is that the lice can't search. Uh, that mastermind probably will, though. Uh, they're all ordered. They're all ordered. So that's fine. And winter. Um, well, it was bound to happen eventually. So that's minus one terrain on... No, minus one dust on terrain, minus vision across the board, and uh, minus trade group bonus as well. If you attack us with this Urkin on our board, you will learn the meaning of range. Okay, that's uh, okay, fine. Apparently, they're very, very annoyed with the Urkin there. Well, we're not going to attack it with the Urkin there. That's that's not what it's doing at all. It's just taking a look. It's just having a little cheeky look, just to see what's uh, what's going on. You see. Um, so we're going to uh, let's say keep an eye on this Urkin. We're going to go back over. I just want to be closest to uh, Kazar as possible, just so we can see what it spawns. And um, I will begin sieging this city. This has got uh, five units in it, uh, and it's got a total of 100 uh, fortifications. So another turn, another set of lice, we should be okay there. We've got some units leveled up. We've got our hero that's leveled up, which I will put in extra attack on the units. Although I don't really know where they are. Where is that hero? Is it still up? Uh, it was up here. Yeah, it is still there as well. And we have some more Urkin Lice, which I will take control of, although they are a little bit far away. So I'll say you go down to... Um, we will still go over there. Uh, it's only going to take... I say only. It's going to take eight turns to get over there. For the hero, I will get them running around and... Uh, I might as well start to just get a lot of these uh, pearls and such. In terms of... Uh, the opinion approval, yeah, they're not happy. They're really not happy. Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought? They're not happy about me bringing uh, loads of stuff near them. We'll go for Benevolent Emperor. We'll buy that out. And we'll go for Dust Refinery. Um, oh, that's actually Dust, dust Transmuter, which is plus 10 dust on, uh, on City with Terrain with Dust. So we'll buy that out. And um, we need 10 Glass Steel for that. So once again... We're going to spend a lot of money and buy a lot of glass, steel, and titanium simply because it's uh, used to build loads of stuff that we uh, really want. And there we go. Uh, we do have the Vaughn now, which is in there. We can hardly see it, but it is there. And we're going to send it over there. It's got one for me in there, but we can easily assault that. That's not too much of a problem. Uh, that's been leveled up. That's been done. We probably haven't. Um, we probably haven't equipped. The hero with all the best stuff yet. Let's look at our hero. We've been sort of um, leaving these alone for the time being. We've got a tier 1 stuff there, which is extra experience on unit. But we should now have... What have we got? We've got plus 4 dust, plus 4... Well, plus 4 dust per person. And plus 4 science per person on city. But is there anything else we can get? Ghost force, no. Free counted, no. Um, no. There's nothing really that's springing to... Life really looking at all these extra fortification that's quite good, but you know what? Just extra experience when recruiting the units just to give them a bit more is okay. Um, do I want to go and recruit that? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, right, end of turn. No research completed, but we've now smashed into uh, the other empire, uh, the other era. So I'm going to check, just see how long it would take me. Oh, and there's a, a relic of Origa built as well. Uh, let's see how long it would take to do the difference engine. Uh, 24 turns to do the difference engine, which is extra science on cities. Well, that gives us that gives us a bit of an option actually. Um, I've just leveled up that hero, by the way, in um, cold operator. No negative effects from winter. Um, do we? Just say, right, let's focus solely. Oh, they've got a manufacturing army there, and they're attacking me, and I'm going to auto fight it. And got absolutely plastered, apparently. Interesting. Um, I will attack this city, though, because we should have all of the lice in there. Mm, still coming in. Still waving into it. It's got no more people anymore. Oh, no, it has. It's got the allied army, but that's gone as well, and so is that. That's what we thought. Okay. And then we'll go down. Um,. So there's one city taken. Yes, what was I saying? Um, we could, if we want to, uh, really change it up and put all of these people, instead of putting in... Instead of the putting them in um, 
food and industry and other things, we put the majority of these into science. So we have... Let's go for everybody into science. Uh, actually, we'll say three dust, three... Do we need even need influence? We don't even need that much influence these days. We'll just do that. We'll split it so it's... Everybody in science, apart from three remaining in in dust. Let's see what that does. Assuming it doesn't put us on minuses, you understand. But let's just see. And see how long this, this is uh, reducing that. That's taking us down to 21 turns, so... That is making a difference. This is a concerted effort, though, um, to go for victory via science. But, I mean, we've managed to reduce that by six turns. And anything that's not building stuff that we might need, um, we can always just research the science stuff. Uh, although, I want Imperial News Network on that. Anything that's got nothing else to build... That in the top there, just academy. Um, yeah, dust academy. And dust orchids, actually. It's a lot of basic stuff that's not on these. It doesn't take long to buy it out either. I uh, don't want Imperial News Network on that. Well, I do, but it's a bit of a waste on that one. So anything that's not producing anything, uh, like, for example, the uh, dust stuff or any of the city upgrades, just goes and produces stockpiles. Uh, we are 100% approval anyway, and all of these cities have now recovered. There was percentages shown on there, but that's like the percent of recovery, but they're all done now. Uh, nothing happened over there, so we'll just end the turn. And we can see we are heading towards this other city here. The problem is that both these cities are right next to each other. And uh, one of them is obviously their main city as well. So that's going to be um, difficult for us to uh, work on. Um, I will say siege on this one. We'll start sieging that. Um, these are scouting around. This guy hasn't yet done anything in terms of lice. Uh, there is some orcs. We might as well buy those and bring them in. Uh, there's one army. Oh, it's a terrible army of uselessness. Um, no other minor factions that I can see. Most of the lice that I've got recently have coming, well, coming from there. So, uh, yeah, I think it's just keep scouting about then. Any looking lice that I can see, I'll buy out. Uh, that's strange. The These here. These have still got the Kapaku extractors on. Alright, oh, interesting. I don't know if that's just because of lines of sight. Or whether it's uh, whether it's a bug. So this city, dust refinery. Seventeen turns until we get double the amount of science. Uh, in order to win via science victory, it's not terribly difficult now. I don't think. Let's go for that. Um. It's very strange that Urkin hasn't spawned anything, and I don't know why it hasn't. Uh, this has got no fortification now, so straight attack up and auto fight. There's the militia gone and their city dead, and then we're moving in. <laughs> oh, good grief. Um, I'm not going to attack that one. That will be false economy doing that, simply because... Oh, we can't siege it. There we can. Uh, simply because there's six units there with full fortification, and that's not going to work out for us. Uh, we're going to reposition the Urkin. Um, oh, we can't reposition it. Oh, we can reposition it, but we have to take it out of this area and then put it back. We'll put it there, uh, just to <laughs> just to really annoy them. Um, and then we'll skip over to sort of that side. And uh, there we are. Um, what we on? 16 turns for the difference engine, which is double the amount of science. I mean, you can just... These Urken lice. Now, I've already passed 50% of the colonized regions. Okay. Um, the question is... What victory will we get first? And... Oh, there's an army. So this is where we are probably going to be stopped dead in our tracks. Because we've got an army there and an army there. Plus three in the city. 
And no other reinforcements that I can buy. And I can only attack those, so there's no real point. And it takes three turns, I think. Oh, yeah, three turns to reposition those. Got some militia leveled up. We've got loads of stuff built in our main city. Uh, Burry Street, another one. Yes, please. Um, although there's not many places we can go now. Just mainly thickening up our uh, main city centre, really. Lice can just have a little scout around, looking for more mine of factions. They're all doing their thing. Um, the thing is, I'm not... That Urkin's back there, just doing nout. But... The thing is... If I, I don't want to take these, and I really can't bother to be dealing with them. So this is my way of doing it, just uh, being lazy, to be honest. Um, I mean, we could always raise the city, but... It's like a little, you have to get it under full control before you can do that. Um, do one of Tower for Delta around here? Why not? And that, and that should be fine. Yeah. Um, where's our where's our hero and army over here? We are searching in there. Nothing. And we're going to pick up some of these, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it looks like it'll be a bug. You can see that the extractors are still there. The extractors have not been removed. Uh, there's some Merkin Lice. There's some Merkin Lice. They're both mine. So we're going to head them over. We're probably going to be having a fight this turn. Oh, looks like there's some Merkin Lice being spawned there. So we are going to immediately buy that out and then um, get them moving over here. Both of these. Actually, this one can continue scouting out, but the, uh, the full one will move over. Um eventually. There's them attacking me, uh, but we've got loads of reinforcements, so we'll auto-fight that. Uh, we're not going to manual fight unless we need to. There's oh, loads of armies and militia gone as well. That's uh, crying shame, uh, because that's their main city gone as well, and then we're now heading over here. Yeah, I'm pretty convinced that the Urkins are broke. Uh, <laughs> I would... I would... Am I missing something? Are Urken Lice just stupidly overpowered? Is it just the difficulty that I've put it on? Which we did did say from the beginning we were, do, were doing a bit of a chill stream. Where it wasn't going to be stupidly difficult. All on normal difficulty. But we haven't... It's not that we haven't uh, like pulled punches or anything. We've, or we've been um, perfectly going over the top. It's not a custom faction or anything like that. It is a standard out-of-the-box... Uh, build from the uh, for the Morgawa. Uh there's a new quest from dust to rust uh, donate palladium otherwise oh yeah we've got loads of metals weakening I really not too bothered um, auto move this stuff I will move the Urkin oh no one more turn for the Urkin to be shifted oh I thought that was their city but it's not it's not it's actually <laughs> it's back here uh, so we'll have to move the Urkin lace down here um, we can actually start sieging that now. I don't know what they've got left, really. I really don't know what they've got left. Um, there's some Harmonite. Perfect. We'll have you. Welcome aboard. Um, it pension's good. Uh, <laughs> ooh. Well, that's a shame. I was going to try and take that over, but I don't think I can. Uh, talk, at least with, uh, talk with at least five other forces. Well, we can't do that. And I guess I'm going to have to die on that one. Yeah. Bit of a waste. Okay, I'll send my whatever my force is, my Leviathan force, which is only going to take eight turns in winter, which is fairly shocking when you think about it. Um, I need more Vores, but I cannot get them because I don't have the glass steel, so we will buy out the glass steel and then build... Uh, just build a couple of Vores. There we are. And then we'll head over. The problem with that is that it's uh, not really possible for me to take over um, by diplomatic means because there's these ones here but I guess we could parlay with them but we control them so would we be able to do that I don't know anyway so we've got loads of units uh, let's auto move and then go to said units uh, I'm going to bring them further down like so just to uh, allow for space for the ones to come in they can go to there they can go there you can go down to there and lice work away and then uh, we'll start sieging that um, they have a total of 100 fortification minus 59 a turn only two armies in there so it's not too much of a problem these masterminds I'm going to turn off auto explore and then uh, keep them around this Urkin in fact what does this Urkin require 25 red sank to tame that Urkin um, okay so I guess we could just say uh, uh, give me um, 10 of that 
And uh, 20 of that. 25. Apparently we need a bit more. There's only one left. How much do I have? 21 red sang. Okay, so I can't actually control that. Shame. Alright. Um, I've just realised how much money I've got. It's That's just insane. Borough Streets. Buy that out. Imperial News Network. Buy that out. I mean, look, I can even buy out the... Um, some of this stuff for science. I think the rule is now spend the money on upgrades that improve the city, like uh, Burris Streets, and then the rest of it just put into that. The Royal. Uh, Oh, the stockpiles, basically. Uh, can we bring those down? We can. Oh, I forgot about the hero over here to search. Nothing of great note. And there's some haunts. Um, haunts are decent, actually. Buy out haunt. I'll buy the haunts out, and then we'll send them over here. Right. So this city is pretty much gone. For I think I will just straight attack it so we can get moving. They've only got two militia there. Gone straight away. Who would have? Uh, who would have expected any different? I'm just going to bring all this down again. And I think this is the last city. I'm just going to straight out attack it. To be honest. Ah, maybe not. We'll siege it. They have an army there, that's all. So we can bring the rest of the lice down. Um, in terms of those, we're going to stick them around. These lice. Bring them down. Come on down, lice. Um, those are going to search that. Use a hero-led army to... Not bothered. Uh, those... Might as well siege. And then finally, the hero that for some reason... I I don't think I put on sleep. No, I didn't, but... Um, ah, it is. It is on sleep. That's why my mistake. So that's why it's not um, popped up there. Um, We're going to move down here, I think. Uh, and we're going to reposition this. There. Because that's our next target, probably. Um... Any cities that are not doing anything? These ones, uh, they've got things like bells and whistles and other things, but there's nothing that I really want. Because um, that's fortification and such, and we're almost never going to be attacked, so it's just more science. I don't... Oh, we next extra bag slot, why not? I don't know what to put on them. Um, what sort of extra things can we put on them? Fortification, recovery... That would be brilliant if we actually had the, uh, the resources for it. Free counter. Yeah, go on then. Why not? I don't think it's really unfair to say that at this point, um, we're on 1,614. The next highest is the guy we've assaulting his last city on... Um, th oh, sorry. My mistake. It's not that. Um, let me just put that aside. The next highest is the... Um, the Forgotten on 469, followed by the uh, Wild Walkers that were sledging on uh, 302, and then I don't know what the Ardent Mage has been up to, but apart from getting absolutely hammered, I don't think it's much. Uh, there's a straight win on that city, so um, that's gone. Um, yeah, I don't think it's unreasonable to say that this is pretty much a clean-up game now. Um, to say otherwise would be quite disingenuous. Or maybe it's not. Maybe we'd get absolutely hammered. Um, we don't know yet. But we're going to find out because we're going to send all of the stuff over to the other area. And then we'll attack. Uh, four more turns in for that to be taken over. I'm going to go back actually because I might be able to get some more red sang now. Should have checked first. One, two. And we have 23. So two more. And that's going to move in a couple more turns anyway. So that's fine. We're going to move, auto-move the vaws and other things like that. 
Um, they're moving. They're moving. All this has been ordered to move anyway, so let's go. Uh, we'll scout around the other area. I'm hoping that we bump into some more lice, but I mean, you don't really know. Uh, there's some harmonites, but they're there. They are pretty much. Oh no, they're not opposite. They're they're, they're, so, they're just over there. So I'm gonna. Uh, buy those out. There's some more there as well. We'll buy those out. So there's some more units. We'll order them to go there. We'll just make landfall there, to be honest. And like so. Uh, we can't activate all these stockpiles. We can activate uh, this science stockpile. Sorry, we can't activate luxury resource, but we can activate the stockpile. Ten more turns until we have finished our... finished our um, research to then that doubles that doubles the amount of science that we get but there we are there's another city destroyed and well we're basically on to buying out whatever we can now on the main hero because the city's so big there is Empire defeated their city has been burnt down as well as all of their trees and if we go over to Shaky Hands, we can see that we have the Forgotten on the right, and then the uh, the Ardent Mages on the left. Both of them are envious. Um, yeah. Let's build that. And everything's just going to be ordered to go over here. Actually, I should really go there. I keep moving that one by mistake. What else? They can... no point in... well, we'll make land. Looks like we can't get up the areas we thought. There is a ice warg, so we will get those as well. We're currently heading towards uh, the blue territory, but it looks like the Arden Mage has just got one city. I think they're just glitched out. Um, it happened in the previous... Um, the previous scenario uh, that we did, the previous series, where basically they were... the, the wild walkers, I think it was, um, they didn't do anything at all uh, which was a shame um can we not buy that out one more turn by the look of it just depends if people are selling um so the question is where do we attack well we've got two units going up to there and i think with that lice with that set of lice and that lice we should hopefully be able to take that out and the rest we're going to bring up here But, we are spread out a little. We are spread out a little. Um, how's the haunts? Oh, the haunts are on the way as well. <laughs> and um, my main army as well. So they're all fine. Ah. There's that again. That's the uh, Leviathan. Um... Yeah, it's coming towards us. Uh, gonna attack the Harmonites. I mean, could you not? That would be brilliant if you could not. Um, I don't know what will happen there. We are gonna attack this, though, and we'll take that out very easily. Artillery ship's gone. Fail the quest. But garrison that. And that means we now control all of those. Um, I'm very tempted to build as many Leviathans as I can, but they do require... A lot of glass steel. Oh, wait, I just realised we've got enough money to buy out what we want. Five. I've just bought out five of them. <laughs> Where is our Leviathan army? There it is. Uh, and I've just bought all of these Leviathans out here. So we have an army of um, many hundred Leviathans. Um, do we still have our hero? Uh, where is he? No assignment. Okay, so I'm going to assign them to that. This is our hero that's uh, floating around that we haven't really bothered with too much because we've uh, had been. Well, there's nothing to take over, you see. But uh, yeah, let's uh, head in and around here, and this is going to be another big assault on these cities. So uh, we'll say you. It's straight out. Why can't we siege? There we go. So we're sieging this city. Um, we are 
hopefully able to buy out one more red sang. We can, which means we have another tame Durkin. And that means that we can reposition it to say there. And also we can give it some upgrades. Move penalties for Urkin to winter. Don't need that. This is the fighting Urkin, really. Uh, that's root in a region next to allied cities we don't have. And what's that one? Oh, in army form, allied units in the same region get loads of bonuses. But we do need spices for that. And we now have that. So, um, we have a massive advantage now. Not as if we didn't last time. But we're going to leave it there. Next episode... I think that'll be the last series. I don't think it's uh, disingenuous to say that because, well, look at it. It's it's a clean up. It's a clean up game now. It's been a clean up game since sort of mid to late uh, episode one before last, I think. Um, but being able to take out the Wild Walkers in one sweep was just that's that that sealed the deal. Really, uh, these are the last two. So we've got the. Ardent Mages, which shouldn't put up any fight at all on their score, and uh, we don't really know about the uh, Forgotten because they have stealthed armies, they have all manner of stuff, they could have infiltration around here and we could get absolutely sledged, but we really don't know. But we will be finding out next episode. As always, hope you have enjoyed this one. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.